Welcome back. Well, I made a mistake, guys. I uh, promised you that I would be showing you the projects in the off-season. And I got ahead of myself, got really excited, and started cleaning things up uh, without the camera running. So let me get you caught up on some of the things I've been doing and then some of the things I'm going to do today as well. Okay? Thanks for watching. Well, the first thing I did, I uh, brought this home, this uh, propane gas grill, and uh, polished it up. That's pretty much it. Just took it all apart, all the way down to the burner, and took everything out, wire brushed it, and just cleaned it all up. So, uh, you know, the inside is, you know, still kind of rusty. I don't know if you call it rusty. Maybe just grimy whatever but I got it as clean as best I could and in the outside I I polished with some stainless steel polishing material so that's good to go and the next thing I did was just take apart the composting toilet clean it all out recheck all the nuts and bolts after the first year of use and just verify that everything was good good to go I uh, Put a, a larger bolt, retapped this, drilled and retapped this with a larger bolt because uh, this was slipping when, when I had a, a fair amount of uh, uh, <clears throat> coconut core in here. So I oversized that. I put a flat on the shaft and tightened that down. So that's all good to go. So sorry I, I didn't video uh, that stuff. Making a clamp, uh, kind of on the principle of this um, machinist clamp here, where I, I want to squeeze two flanges together, and this is on my uh, air conditioning uh, air handling unit where the duct comes on top, and I just can't get in there with screws to screw it down tight. So this is kind of like a clamp where I can get right on the lip of it and screw it down, except instead of using this. Well, this is a nice machinist tool. I'm going to make this out of aluminum where I cut this channel stock and I just put two screws. Uh, it's, not, it's not threaded like this is, uh, but, I'll, uh, but uh, I'll be able to get in there with wrenches and then tighten this down um, to squeeze it. If, if anything, maybe I'll put like a, like a little piece of shim in the back here um, to get to get a better clamping force. But I'm going to make uh, probably two of these. When I'm back on the boat, as I install these, you'll see uh, the reason for them. But that won't be for a few months. Here's my next project. This horseshoe buoy has seen much better days. The material is really wearing, so I'm going to attempt to make a new cover for it. I checked the inside, and uh, the foam is fine. I mean, it's well protected from UV. So I'm going to use this material here. It's like a trucking tarp. It's a PVC coated uh, fabric. I think it's polyester. And I've used it uh, for other things like the uh, boat cover on on the boat right now is made of this material, just a different color, uh, as well as the life sling here. This is a new one as well, uh, well, relatively new. Needs to be cleaned, but this is made of the same trucking material and holds up really well in the UV. So this is still in good shape. I'll check all the threading and make sure nothing's uh, deteriorating there and clean it up, take it all apart and check out all the uh, all the rope and sling inside. So that's next on the list. So I don't know, I'm kinda having a 
second thoughts about using this. Uh, you'll eventually see in a in another clip whether I attempt to uh, spend time remaking this cover. Now here are two that I could buy. One is the uh, round ring, uh, which you can see is only $68. And the other is uh, a replacement for my horseshoe buoy, uh, which would be about $97. Uh, one of the advantages of the uh, horseshoe buoy is I still have the stainless steel support on the boat that I can use. like trying to do a Rubik's Cube, trying to straighten this out without taking all the rope out. Okay, I cheated. I took it apart, put it back together again. Now I gotta find a way to keep this straight uh, so when I go to deploy it in an emergency, I don't have to go through that. Mainly this is uh, to hoist a person out of the water who may be injured or unconscious. Uh, the life sling the attached rope I mean this is what you throw overboard to uh, hopefully if the person is still conscious they can they can grab this and uh, if someone else needs to go in the water to put this around them um, then they do that and then we attach this to these d-rings here hook it onto the boom and pull them out of the water. Now if it's just me and one other person and that other person goes overboard and they're unconscious, my, my first uh, plan is to call the Coast Guard. Uh, I, I would not be able to control the boat as well as try to deal with someone who's uh, uh, incapacitated in the water, uh, especially if I'm uh, in among a lot of traffic or near the intercoastal waterway channel, uh, it, it would be dangerous. So that's the reality of it. Rule number one, stay on the boat. <laughs> 